In this example, we will use Quick Palette Maker to create um, a palette with a, only one type of box. And we will change the layout to fit the needs and current uh, requirements of the operation. First, we start out with a new data sheet box on palette. Here we will enter the dimensions of the box. First, we, since the default dimensions were in centimeters, we're going to change them to inches. Units, inches. Okay. And we will select the palette type, 48 by 40. <clears throat> this palette, uh, we will give it a bit of um, overhang, just one inch, which should not affect the contents of the box, in the length. And we will adjust the maximum height to 57 inches. Now we will enter the box dimensions. Length of 1275 inches with 9.75. These are all external dimensions. A height of 12.62 and a weight of 35 pounds. We add the box. Okay, and we calculate. In this case, we use the tools we calculate command. All right, so we get, every time we calculate one type of box, we get three different results. First result is lengthwise boxes. Second result is transversal boxes. You'll see that more would more fit in this dimension. And the third one is um, just a mixed layout to maximize the number of boxes. We click here several times in the drawing, we can see the top-down view. We see that this one is more stable than the other two, and it includes more boxes at the maximum amount, which was 60. Okay, but in this example, we want uh, to have this layer of transversal boxes. We want, with this layer, now this row of transversal boxes, we want to have it on one end. So we will use the layer editor. We will select the first palette that has less boxes, and then we will add an extra layer to the right. Okay, so we se select the, the first palette and we go to Tools, Layer Editor. Okay, so we need to add three more boxes here. We select Edit, Duplicate, create a new one, and we will rotate it in the Z axis. Okay, now we duplicate this box again. We click to, for it to appear. And we can move it, we can drag it, and we can just make sure that it has the same x value. So 15. Okay. All right. Now we duplicate it again. And we move this third box here. move it a bit to the end. So all our layers are the same. Okay, This is our first layer. You see here layer number one. You see that second layer still doesn't have the boxes. But we want to make it just like the first layer. So we go and click copy select the layer. And all of them will be the same. We just Here we can just change the palette view. We see that there's the drawing is not fixed yet. We show full palette, the drawing is not fixed yet. We click here on organize boxes. Okay. And we click on OK. And we will have the palette and with the fixed drawing. We click here, we see that the drawing looks okay in all the dimensions. And we have both types now. We have this first palette in which the only the external layer is um, uh, transversal. Uh, external layer, no, external uh, row is transversal. And we have one where, where the internal row is transversal. We have both types. We can generate reports for each one. So let's go to this one. Window, detail report. And it shows our palette. 